Behold, now she follows the Lamb who was crucified for us, powerful in virginity, modesty her offering, a sacrifice on the altar of chastity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Today is Friday, February 5th, the memorial of St. Agatha. Our readings and prayers for Mass today will come from the memorial. And Mass this morning is offered for the repose of the soul of George Schaefer. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May the virgin martyr, Saint Agatha, implore your compassion for us, O Lord, we pray. For she found favor with you by the courage of her martyrdom and the merit of her chastity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Consider your own calling, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. Rather, God chose the foolish of the world to shame the wise. And God chose the weak of the world to shame the strong. And God chose the lowly and despised of the world those who count for nothing, to reduce to nothing those who are something, so that no human being might boast before God. It is due to him that you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, as well as righteousness, sanctification, and redemption, so that, as it is written, whoever boasts should boast in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be my rock of re refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. I will rejoice and be glad because of your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, blessed are you, for the Spirit of God rests upon you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to all, if anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. 
What profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? Whoever is ashamed of me and of my words, the Son of Man will be ashamed of when he comes in his glory, and in the glory of the Father and of the holy angels. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Memorial today for Saint Agatha, virgin and martyr. Agatha is one of the saints listed in the first Eucharistic prayer, the Roman canon, uh, that list of virgin martyrs. Uh, so I'll use that Eucharistic prayer today, which names her by name. Uh, there's not a whole lot we know about Agatha. Uh, she lived uh, in the days of the early church in the 200s. Uh, time of persecution in the Roman Empire, uh, where public profession of the faith easily led to imprisonment or torture or death. Uh, she's said to have been a very beautiful young woman, and a man of the city had a fondness for her and wanted her to be his wife, uh, but she desired to be consecrated to the Lord sort of an early version, we might say, of a religious life, a consecrated religious life. Uh, but the man was persistent, pleading with her. Still, she refused because she wanted to belong to Christ alone. Uh, and so this young suitor who could not get his way turned her over to the authorities, uh, after which she was arrested and tortured and mutilated and all in an attempt to have her deny her faith, uh, but she stood firmly in Christ, uh, went to her death, after which many miracles were attributed to her intercession. Interested this morning uh, a little bit in this man who turned her over. Uh, so often as we contemplate the, the martyrs, and as we certainly should today, uh, lean into them for the strong witness they give to faith, the ability to overcome temptation and trial and remain faithful. Uh, but this man who couldn't get his way uh, and what that ended up doing uh, in causing uh, pain and suffering to another and I think in a particular way, because I had classmates in the situation in the seminary uh, whose parents didn't want them to be there, uh, or whose family members didn't want them to be there. And sometimes, and maybe you've experienced this movement internally, uh, where someone else is living a faith that at least outwardly is more committed than yours, uh, or more active than yours uh, when we can, or at least I've been in the situation where it builds up some sort of resistance and even resentment. I don't like how faithful this other person is uh, and I'm tempted to do something about it or say something about it or at least I'm internally agitated about it and Agatha is living her faith and wants to be given to the faith uh, and this other person, this man, can't accept that. Uh, and so he makes her life more difficult. Classmates of mine in the seminary uh, who were there despite their family's resistance and rejection of that. And then perhaps how many others don't go into a formation like that, uh, don't have the option put before them of becoming a religious sister or a priest because their family doesn't want it and attempts to talk them out of it and makes their life difficult if they want to pursue that. We might pray through Agatha's intercession uh, that hearts would be softened toward vocations in our young people uh, and that young people who have this desire like Agatha did to be given to the Lord, 
uh, wouldn't have to face trial in that decision, at least not from those close to them. And then we might also ask her intercession today uh, just for strength uh, in any of those situations where the Lord is inviting us to take up our cross and deny ourselves, uh, that we would be able to do so faithfully uh, and with the help of her and others like her, those martyrs who stood so firmly in their faith despite their crosses. So I guess two invitations to prayer today. One, uh, just for softened hearts toward vocations uh, that none of us would be uh, here in our community like that suitor, uh, making life difficult for those who pursue a life in Christ. Uh, and then the invitation to pray uh, for any of those times when it's difficult for me to accept Jesus and the cross that we might stand firmly in Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. With your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the offerings we bring in celebration of blessed Agatha win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray. Just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift your Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Agatha, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, and Andrew, his assistant, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them. For the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being 
and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true, in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos, and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. And with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Save us. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, almighty God, Command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. Through Christ our Lord, amen. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs. 
with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other an appropriate sign of peace. In this mean we the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring you to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection, mind and body, and make remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Keep me safe for eternal life. The Lamb who is at the center of the throne will lead them to the springs of the waters of life.
Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on blessed Agatha a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament, that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a reminder that today is a first Friday, and so this evening at 7 o'clock here in the church, we'll have our first Friday night of prayer, a holy hour of Eucharistic adoration, uh, along with some praise and worship. Uh, so that's at 7 to 8 o'clock tonight, and then tomorrow, first Saturday, uh, we will have Mass in the Extraordinary Form at 8 o'clock, and that will be followed by a rosary, uh, as well as a time for adoration and confessions. So 7 o'clock tonight, 8 o'clock tomorrow. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Mary, Queen of Martyrs, St. Joseph, Saint Paul, Saint Agatha, praise be Jesus Christ.